Welcome to this episode of Bankruptcy Basics. What is Chapter 7 Bankruptcy? Before we get started, I have to give a disclaimer. Uh, this video is purely for educational purposes and does not represent legal advice by the Wallace Law Group or Stephen E. Wallace. So when most people talk about bankruptcy, those that aren't, don't understand the nuances of bankruptcy, they generally refer to bankruptcy as Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is generally reserved only for businesses or high net worth individuals. So when we're talking about consumer bankruptcy, for the most part, we're talking about Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which we're going to discuss in detail today, or Chapter 13 bankruptcy, which we're going to discuss in another video. Uh, Chapter 7 bankruptcy is, is based on a means test, and the means test was established in the Bankruptcy Reform Act of 2005. And basically, they look at the median incomes in the particular municipalities, and they basically look at how many folks are in your family. And if you are, if you are below uh, the median income, then you automatically qualify uh, for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And if you're above the median income, as long as you um, fall under the, the, the maximum income guidelines for your particular area, then you would also qualify for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Uh, chapter 7 bankruptcy is known as a liquidation, uh, but the, the important caveat to understand is that I never have my clients file Chapter 7 bankruptcy if by filing they're going to lose all of their assets. Uh, one of the benefits of Chapter 7 bankruptcy is that there's a variety of exemptions, and especially in Florida, um, if you have substantial equity in your home, you're going to be able to keep it because Florida has an unlimited homestead act as long as you meet other qualifications. So the process is that um, you would come to me and we would pull your credit report. And by pulling your credit report, we would get the bulk of your creditors and we would input them into our system so that we would able, we'd be able to uh, draft your bankruptcy petition. Now, the one important thing to understand is if you have a lot of private debt or medical debt, oftentimes those are not on your credit report. So you would, you would have to also provide us copies of those bills. So just think of bankruptcy as you are filing a lawsuit against all your creditors. So we basically will file a chapter seven petition uh, for relief under the bankruptcy code. And by doing that, all of your creditors will receive notice from the court that a chapter seven bankruptcy has been filed. Um, under Chapter 7 bankruptcy, uh, the court automatically appoints a Chapter 7 trustee. And in, in the Southern District of Florida, where we practice uh, mostly, um, the, the U.S. trustee's office works in tandem with the court uh, to appoint a, a, a panel trustee. And, you know, I've been, I've been practicing bankruptcy law in, in South Florida for a long time, and I have great relationships uh, with all the trustees in Palm Beach County, Broward, and Miami-Dade County, which is the bulk of where we represent clients uh, in Florida. And so once the bankruptcy petition is filed, uh, you'll, we will also get a notice from the court that we have a meeting of the creditors, which is anywhere from 30 to 45 days from the date we file. And at that point, we will meet with the Chapter 7 trustee. The Chapter 7 trustee will, will meet myself and you as the client. Uh, it's called a meeting of the creditors. And basically, the trust, Chapter 7 trustee asks some basic questions on the uh, bankruptcy petition just to make sure that everything is accurate and you are, and is truthful. Because um, most importantly, when you sign a chapter, when you sign a, a bankruptcy petition, you are signing under a penalty of perjury that everything you put in that bankruptcy petition is true and accurate. So the, 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 the beautiful thing about Chapter 7 bankruptcy is that once you go through the process, uh, you will get what is called a discharge. And then at the end of the bankruptcy, when you get your discharge, uh, you will not owe any any further monies to any of your creditors, and they are prohibited from collecting on that debt. Additionally, you, you know, one of the benefits of Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the process is basically, from assuming that there's no other complications in the case, um, the, the bankruptcy from start to finish is anywhere from 90 to 120 days. And after that, um, you'll start being able to rebuild your credit. And many of our clients are able to purchase a home after two years from the date of their discharge. So chapter seven bankruptcy is an excellent way 
uh, for you to get a fresh start. And that in the legislative history is exactly what Congress was hoping for. So for any questions you have uh, related to Chapter 7 bankruptcy, please visit us at our website at thewallacelawgroup.com. And on our website, um, you'll have the ability to download our, our free ebook, which discusses personal bankruptcy in detail and, and discusses the nuances between Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy. And I, all, I, all, I hope you all look forward to our next episode of Bankruptcy Basics, which is what is Chapter 13 bankruptcy. And please like us above and subscribe to our channel so that you can, you'll, be, you'll receive notifications uh, when our next videos go out. Please all stay safe and God bless.